Na, Leon Boots. You want to have respect? Show it. Show respect to living beings. You can hurt to the ones that are lower to you. Show how you treat ones who are in your power. Show that you don't misuse your own power. Be kind. Be respectful. Specifically to the ones how how society considers to be under you. Speak up, not being silent. When there are living beings suffering, specifically when those are innocent. You want to have respect? You want to have my respect? Go vegan. Because if you are not vegan, innocent living beings are suffering. Little cute pigs have their testicles ripped out with a cuticle remover. Baby chicks are, which are male, put in a rendering machine when they're just one year old. And the females have their beaks cut off and then pods. Shortens and their wings. And after one and a half year, they are destroyed. They are murdered for stewed chicken. Because the egg industry can only have them in life because they steal their eggs. Wood costs calcium depleting. If you are against cruelty, what I consider being a characteristic of a person who deserves respect, you should speak out. Because what if you are the victim? If you are the victim in the scenario of the cow whose baby is stolen from her, and then put to a field camp and then killed after just four months. If you were in that position, do you not want that somebody speaks out against your oppressors? Tell me whatever what you think, but it is not your right to violate somebody else's life for your own gluttonous behavior. It is not necessarily to eat animals, so it is unnecessarily violence. What kind of society murders 70 billion land animals and 2.8 trillion marine animals only for a taste pleasure? There are our cousins in a different body. They are representing themselves just in a different form. And don't come with a lion's ears argument. You're not a lion. Those are not canines of a lion. You, cl you have not claws. These are not claws. These nails are a bit long because I play guitar. But they are not sharp, like like the claws of a lion. I cannot uh, skin people with my fingers or skin animals with my fingers, like a bear or a wolf. Place yourself always in a position of the ones who is oppressed, not the one who is doing the oppressing. 
that's how you can make a just society. That's how we can bring peace on this world. No government can ever bring peace. It is on the people to make the peace. It is on the people to stand up for each other and learn to live in a community instead of being governed by an entity who have not the right, have not the competency to make justice. Specifically not for all. So, what are we going to do? Are we going to be a beacon of light in the darkness? Speak up against all oppression, destroy the root of all hatred on this world, anthropocentrism. Are we going to stand up for the ones who are oppressed and screw the oppressors? Or will you be another deluded person, another cowardly person? How is too afraid to admit when he's wrong? Have no spine. How is too afraid to be wrong? And hold the status quo just like it be. Prove that you have empathy. Before you ask if somebody else give it to your case, that's what I have to say to you. If you want to be a person, I consider to be a person of fire. Place yourself always in the victim's position, not in your own ego position. If you see somebody suffering, try to feel how that person is, how is suffering and try to help him or her. No matter if it's been a dog, a cat, a chicken. Forget nothing, the victim's position. Because when you are yourself not the victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock radical and being a nasty fellow. But when you are the victim, things look a lot different from that position. And therefore, I say you, there is no argument against veganism. Make a plea and move forward. Evolve. Eat some beans, rice, or a bunch of fruit. Have a peaceful meal instead of a cruel meal today. For peace, for justice, for equality. When darkness and light become one, well, the reality is split in a way and the truth become visible.